My advocacy is about leaving your mark. When babies are born, there is joy in the home and in the lives of the parents. Expectations are high and everyone prays that their child will grow up to be great and leave their mark in their generation. Cindy Meadow Gold was born in 1944 in the Castries district of St. Lucia in the Caribbean and died in a New York hospital on April 9, 2013. She sojourned in Nigeria for 25 years and worked passionately to represent Nigeria as a gender expert to the United Nations. This makes her a traditionalist. That is the generation of people born in 1922 to 1945. People who grew up in a world torn apart by a vicious world war, faced with dismantling colonial structures, leading liberation struggles, civil rights and social movements that dared challenge racial and patriarchal power and privilege. This generation raised the baby boomers, a generation known for her bravery, fearlessness, innovation, a strong craving for social justice, ready to ask dangerous questions. Cindy Meadow Gold was a poster girl for the two generations she saddled, the traditionalists and the baby boomers. The values that the traditionalists were known for, loyalty, dedication, sacrifice, duty before pleasure, were traits that Cindy was very well known for. The issues that she cared about and worked hard until she drew her last breath were the very things that defined the next generation, the baby boomers, confronting oppression, defining alternative ways of conceptualizing power and community. As I celebrate her today, Cindy Medigold, I want us to reflect on who we are and our future in history. What is that task facing your generation? I think Bright is already dealing with that for his generation. Every generation is also charged with the responsibility of correcting the mistakes of the past villains and building on the gains of the heroes. There is a constant need for us to refine, reshape, and affirm our humanity in an ever-changing world. We should endeavor to leave this world better than we met it. Cindy Medigold certainly did leave her mark, and it would have been an honor and a privilege to know her. What mark are you leaving behind? The decision is entirely yours. Mm -hmm.